friction is so high, so high, it can just get exaggerated. And then it is very, very difficult to manage these cases. Very, very difficult. Second thing, you never introduce them during the infective phase. Never ever. So if there is a patient who is running with bronchitis or bronchitis, along with your asthma, you will never introduce it here. Okay. So constitutional in psychotic phase, you will give in medium potency, infrequent repetition. Response desired. When you give in psychotic phase, what is the response you desire? The first thing will be, there will be lot of expectoration. The patient will bring out lot of flame. Better tolerance to known substances like damp or rainy season. The musculoskeletal involvement will go down. The patient will feel better, much, much better. He will say, doctor, my backache is gone. Now I am free. My joints are free. I can move, dance, do whatever I want to do in life. So this is the response which we desire. Skin symptoms may reappear. Very important. If your medicine and the potency is right, the skin symptom has to come back again. Very, very important. Re-establishment of discharge is very important. If you are given the right medicine, you will see the patient develop severe sneezing, lot of cold, coryza, sinusitis, throat infections. That means your remedy is right. It is going to produce the result. May require constitutional medicine in higher potency or you will require a cyclical remedy. What you should do? Now, when you are managing bronchial asthma patients who are in psychotic phase, once they are into the phase of remission, that's the time if you increase the potency, the constitutional potency, the medicine is increased in potency, it will produce fantastic result. And all the rest of the part of the disease can be decreased. You know, it can be just aborted. The disease will get all right, come under control in a very short time and the patient will feel so nice. So usually you land up in the quiescent phase introducing a very high potency. You can give 10 M1 dose or something and it will clear off the disease. Or you require a cyclical remedy like calcarea, lycosulfur, you know, or bryonia followed by natremure, bryonia followed by calcarea floor, ignatia followed by natremure. You require a, some kind of a second prescription which is related with your main prescription and will clear of the case. We have seen lot of cases, lot of cases where you give some acute medicine, it will give you clear cut indications of a constitutional medicine. You give the constitutional medicine, the patient never develops asthma after that. Tubercular phase. Very important again, very erratic response very very erratic response you know requires very careful management your one mistake can produce a very severe aggravation acute remedy you require in low or medium potency okay with minimal repetition suppose if after two doses the patient is better you don't repeat the third dose or fourth dose you have to tell the patient that even if you are little better, please don't repeat the medicine. Okay. Low or medium potency with minimal repetition. Intercurrent is required. The most required intercurrent is in tubercular phase. And lot of time I have introduced intercurrent when the patient is feeling better slightly better I introduce intercurrent and the patient feels much 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 better suddenly you will see that all the miasmatic thing clears off once the miasmatic portion clears off the patient feels much relaxed the patient will say oh I am fine what is wrong huh? I am back to saddle this is the beautiful thing now you may require a higher constitutional potency, but you have to be very, very careful at this stage. You don't make mistakes. 
to avoid the recurrence. Now, if the vitality is good in this phase, understand this, vitality, susceptibility, reactivity is good, then you give higher potency. But if the sensitivity is very high, you restrict it to the lower potency. If you find the patient is very sensitive, slightest change of weather and I get the attack. Tendency to catch cold. You know, these are tendencies. This shows, what does it show? The sensitivity is very high. So, if the sensitivity is very high, you never give very high potency unless you are very sure. Otherwise, you can produce severe aggravation. And then, the constitutional remedy in medium or high potency, so that the patient recovers faster, higher potency in frequent repetition. Now, this is very, very, now this will depend on the physician, how much of clinical experience he has, how much of experience he has in management of such conditions. You require higher potency in frequent repetition to stop the and stop the medicine as soon as the response starts. So, there are some cases who do not respond, you know, you may treat, 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 like I get lot of cases, even in children nowadays, the patient does not respond, does not respond, does not respond. So, you give it very frequently, like bacillinum, you give it very, very frequently. The moment the child says, I have developed coryza, or child says, you know, my sleep is better. So, as soon as the patient responds, you stop the repetition. This is the golden rule, you know. The base rule is of potency. You know, always we ask how do, how long, when to increase. The golden rule of medicine and its repetition is never repeat unless, never repeat unless the previous medicine has exhausted. Never increase the potency unless the patient stops responding. So, if the pa 30 potency is working, the golden rule, do not change the potency, because that 30 potency will produce the desired result, whether you like it or not. Sometimes, I have seen, I will show you a beautiful case of a esophageal stricture. The patient was improving so well, I became very greedy. I said, now from 30, let me increase it to 200 potency. The total beak like stricture which was there in that case, the patient started improving, improving. I was giving 30 potency. I said, now let me give one 200 dose, which developed a severe aggravation. In fact, the whole esophagus went into a severe contraction. The patient could not eat for a few days. I had to reverse it back to the 30 potency. So, one has to be very careful and one has to be sensitive. At this stage, if I change the medicine, I think, oh, this medicine is not working. Let me change the medicine. Case is gone. Case is finished. It goes out of your hand. What is the response which is desired? The most important is large quantity of expectoration. Your remedy is right. Large quantity of expectoration is right. There are some times you will have to give acute medicine to manage the super added infection. So, if there is a super added infection, it requires a management. You require some acute medicine. Syphilitic phase, very stupid. Acute remedy is absolutely must with low potency and frequent repetition. Normally, I have given six potency, frequent repetition. Intercurrent remedy is must. Medium potency with frequent repetition. Because the vitality is so low, it is very difficult to manage. Okay? So, vitality is low, very difficult to manage, sensitivity is low, susceptibility is low, vitality is low. So, you need to stimulate the vitality. So, medium potency and frequent repetition is must. Constitutional remedy may not be available give only partially similar medicine. I have seen patient 